Welcome to math class. You'll be learning algebra and substitution in this class. So let's see what algebra means. Algebra is the use of symbols and letters to express mathematical statements. So when you see mathematical statements that uses symbol and letter, such, such statement is known as algebra. Now these are examples of algebra. We have x plus x plus x. We have 2x plus 3y and we have x times y times z. So those are examples of algebraic statement. Let's look at coefficients. What is a coefficient? A coefficient is a number multiplying the unknown. That is the number multiplying that letter or that symbol is known as a coefficient. Look at the example. In 5x, the coefficient of x is 5. You can see that 5 is multiplying x because 5 times x is 5x and x is the letter in this algebraic term. We call this algebraic term. So 5 is the coefficient of x because 5 is multiplying x. In y, the coefficient of y is 1 because y times 1 is y. For example, if 5 times 1 is 5, 7 times 1 is 7, so y times 1 is y. So the number multiplying y is 1. So that 1 is called the coefficient of y. Now let's see examples. State the coefficient in the following. Now in 3y, the coefficient of y is 3. In 4m, the coefficient of m is 4. You see, all these that have been listed are called algebra. They are called algebraic terms and also algebraic expression. 1 over 3p. The number multiplying p is 1 over 3. Now, in m over 5, the number multiplying m here is 1, which is the coefficient. So, the overall coefficient of m here, it will be 1 over 5. So, the coefficient here is 1 over 5. The next one, 7 over n. What is the coefficient of n? Now, I need you to pay attention. Now, when the unknown is dividing, is the one dividing, there is a way you write the coefficient. The first thing you need to do is to split this. So 7 over n is the same as 7 times 1 over n. Because 7 there is the numerator while n is the denominator. So you know 7 times 1 will give us 7 over n. Now what exactly is multiplying n or what exactly is the coefficient of n? So in 7 over n, which is same as 7 times 1 over n, because this is 1 over n. Okay, I need you to look at it very well. This is 1 over n. So if this is 1 over n, what do you think the coefficient is? Now, in mathematics, there is another way in which we can write 1 over n. There is another way. Because this is a positive n, and positive means that number has a positive sign that is plus now if we're going to get the coefficient of n we have to change the way we have written n here so 1 over n is the same as minus n so that would be 7 times minus n okay that is another way of writing 1 over n that is minus n so if i'm to multiply this back to what it should be it will give us minus 7n now the coefficient of n here will be equal to minus 7 because n is a denominator so simply put the coefficient of n in this fraction is minus 7 so when you have fractions like this that are algebraic terms, you should be able to know the coefficient of 
the letter or the symbol. So looking at another example in number six, which is similar to number five, we have nine over Z. So what's the coefficient of Z? The coefficient of Z is minus nine. Why? Because Z here is the denominator and we can't be having one over Z as the coefficient of Z. So we have to make Z a whole number. So for us to make Z a whole term, this numerator will become negative. So the coefficient of Z here is minus nine because we have explained that in number five. Now for number seven, this time the symbol or the letter is the numerator that makes it positive. So the coefficient of K here is one over four. I'm writing equal sign twice. So the coefficient of k here, you know, what is multiplying by k here is 1. So that's 1 over 4. That's 1 over 4. So if I'm to give you another one and I'm asking you what is the coefficient of... What is the coefficient in this term? The coefficient is this term in this term will be minus 5. Because t here is the denominator i hope you got that now let's proceed simplifying algebraic expressions this has to do with the addition of terms and also the multiplication of terms for you to be able to understand to a certain level this is not all we have the complete topic in our whole term tutoring okay so if you want the complete topic on algebraic expression make sure you enroll for our whole term tutoring now m times m times m is m raised to power 3 that's m raised to power 3 because for example when you have 2 times 2 times 2 that is 2 raised to power 3 and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Now, m times m times m is different from m plus m plus m. m plus m plus m will be m into 3 places. That is m into 3 places. 1, 2, 3, it is plus. So that's m times 3, which will give us 3 m the coefficient of m is 1 1 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give us 3 now a times a is a raised to power 2 a plus a is same as a times 2 a in two places that is 2 a b times b times b times b that will be b raised to power 4 then p plus p plus p p plus p is 2 p plus p that's 3p 4p 5p which is same as p into five places now having on uh, once you have understood that we'll move to substitution and i believe you got that if you do not understand please replay this class and watch it again now if you're new to this youtube channel I am saying a big welcome to you. So ensure you subscribe to our channel so you can have more classes to attend. Click the like button and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be the first person to be notified when we release a new video. Now let's substitute. What do we mean by substitution? Substitution means replacing. Instead of using one thing, replace with another. Now, find the value of the following. If A is equal to 4, B is 2, and C is 9. The first one says A plus C. That's equal to, instead of A, A is 4. And instead of writing C, you write 9. That's 4 plus 9, which is equal to 13. So that's substitution, okay? So now let's move to the next one. C plus 10. The value of C is 9. So you say 9 plus 10, which is equal to 19. 
It's as simple as that. Now, what is 2B? 2B means 2 times B. And the value of B is 2. Let's go back to the previous page. The value of B is 2. So that will be 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. What is BC? BC means B times C. The value of B is 2 times the value of C is 9. So 2 times 9 is equal to 18. What is C divided by 3 plus A? The value of C is 9. That's 9 over 3. Let's put that in bracket. Plus A. The value of A is 4. Let's check. Yes, A is equal to 4. So the value of A is 4. Now, if you have come across board mass, for board mass, you deal with what is in the bracket first, or you deal with division first before addition. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. The next one is 3AB. 3AB means 3 times A times B. So that will be equal to 3 times the value of A is 4 and the value of B is 2. So let's multiply everything. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So that's the value. Now what is BC? BC means B times C. The value of B is 2. The value of C is 9. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. What's the value of 1 over 12A? That is 1 over 12 times A. And that's equal to 1 over 12 times the value of A is 4. So that will be 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 12 is 3. The answer is 1 times 1 is 1. And 3 times 1 is 3. So the answer is 1 over 3. Now let's move to the next one. C minus B. The value of C is 9. The value of B is 2. So 9 minus 2 is 7. 4 into bracket C minus A. That's equal to 4 into bracket. The value of C is 9 and the value of A is 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5. So bracket means you should multiply whatever value you have outside the bracket with the value inside the bracket. So if 9 minus 4 is 5, so the answer will be 4 times 5. And 4 times 5 is equal to 20. The next one is AC divided by B. That's equal to AC means A times C. So the value of A is 4. The value of C is 9. Divided by B. The value of B is 2. So 4 times 9 is 36. And 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. This is how to substitute in algebra. Now you have this exercise. Look at number 1. Q times Q times Q. What is the value? The coefficient of G in 2G is dash. D plus D plus D plus D is equal to, you're going to tell the answer. You're going to write the answer. If M equals 2 and L equals 9, what is LM divided by M plus 2? If H is equal to 4 and K is equal to 3, what is 2HK? This is all you're going to do for me. Right now, I want you to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to our channel before. Click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Now, in the comment section, you're going to give me the answer to number one. After writing it down in your book, I want you to pause this video right now. Copy these questions down in your exercise book because that's your exercise. Then, give me the answer to the first one. Q times Q times Q. I want you to put the answer in the comment section. Is it Q raised to power 2 or Q raised to power 1? Is it 3Q or is it Q raised to power 3? So type it in words because you may not be able to use some functions in the comment section. So give me the answer to this first question right now in the comment section. Then jot this down in your exercise book and you'll, you'll be submitting to me when you're done. So thank you very much. Thank you once again. I'll see you next time. Bye.